and welcome to Jumpstart's 15th annual Read for the Record Day. Today, millions of adults and children all around the world will gather together to read the same book on the same day. Why? To help raise awareness about the critical importance of early learning, and to say that children everywhere deserve access to high-quality, age-appropriate books. Our community is lucky to have first readers, the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, the Literacy Alliance, and the Basics Chattahoochee Valley, working together dedicated to early learning. Today, we are hosting this virtual read aloud event to help celebrate literacy. Several lucky viewers will win a bundle of great children's books to keep in your home libraries. It's easy to enter. Simply post a comment below during the event and you're entered to win. We will randomly draw a few entries and notify the winners via Facebook message. The winners can pick up their books from the Chattahoochee Valley Library. Now, enjoy today's book. It's a very special one. Then stay tuned to hear more about our organizations and how they can help your children become lifelong dedicated learners. Thanks so much and happy reading. Hi everyone, I'm Greta with Chattahoochee Valley Libraries and I'm thrilled to get to share this wonderful book with you today. Evelyn Del Rey is Moving Away. Written by Meg Medina and illustrated by Sonia Sanchez. I love this book and I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I do. The illustrations combined with the words are a magical story about friendship. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. Evelyn Del Rey is my mejor amiga, my numero uno best friend. Come play, Daniela, she says just like she always does, just like today is any other day. So I bundle up and cross the street. A big truck with its mouth wide open is parked at the curb, ready to gobble up Evelyn's mirror with the stickers around the edge, her easel for painting on rainy days, and the sofa that we bounce on to get to the moon. She's waiting for me inside the iron doors. Then we climb the steps, two at a time, just like we always do. We sneak past grouchy Mr. Miller's door and wave to Mr. Sue, who's feeding pigeons from the hall window. Senora Flores gives us each a cookie and says, it's the big day when we walk by. Our apartments are almost twins, just like us. That's why I already knew all the good places for hide-and-seek and the spot behind the heater where we keep our special finds. But the walls in Evelyn's room are sunny yellow, while mine are pink like cotton candy. And I live with my mommy and a hamster. And she has a mommy, a poppy, and a cat. We are mostly the same, just like our apartments, but not after today. We find a still empty box near the door. In no time, I am the bus driver steering us all over the city. We play until the tables that were bus stops are gone and the beds that were skyscrapers have vanished too. When we look around, everything has disappeared except us. Soon the truck outside rumbles off and there's a knock on the door. Hide, we say giggling, just like we always do but our mothers see us before we can slip away. Time to go, Mommy says. Evelyn and I hold hands in that wide, empty space. We lean back and start to spin in circles, faster and faster until everything is a blur around us. Our fingers slip, but we don't let go until we wobble to the floor. We can talk every day after school, I tell her though the world is still whirling. And you can visit me this summer, she says, and spend the night. But I know that tomorrow everything will be different. Evelyn will be in a new home, 
that doesn't match mine. Before we leave, I spot something in the corner, left behind in the dust. It's the last of Evelyn's sparkly stickers. We go downstairs, and I press a heart on her cheek to seal our promise. Then she does mine just the same. We say, patada, while mommy takes a photo. We do our secret handshake one more time. And then Evelyn hugs me hard. Evelyn Del Rey is moving away, so she won't be right here anymore. Mommy says not to be sad, that we will both make new friends. But when Evelyn waves one last time, the stickers still on her cheeks, I know she will always be my first mejor amiga, my numero uno best friend, the one I will always know by heart. And look, there's Daniela all grown up and she's reading letters that they must have written to each other when they were younger. I really did enjoy this book and I hope you did too. And I hope that you'll take the time to learn about the other organizations here in town that can help you fill your house with all kinds of terrific books so you'll always be reading and learning. My name is Brandy Tobin. I'm the Program Director for Literacy Alliance, where we understand reading aloud is very critical for early childhood development as well as creating the desire to learn. Reading aloud can be a fun, free family activity. Learn more about our programs and community events at theliteracyalliance.org or reach us by phone, 706-575-1449. Happy reading! Hi, my name is Grace Nagel and I'm the Director of the Basics Chattahoochee Valley. The basics are five fun, simple, and science-backed tools for parents and caregivers to use to ensure that every child gets a great start in life. Our goal is to help children become lifelong, passionate learners by instilling early literacy skills from birth to age three and beyond. For more information, please visit our website at cv.thebasics.org. Thank you so much and happy learning. Thanks for joining us all today. We invite you to visit our website, cvlga.org. Learn about our amazing resources for children, teens, and adults. Our seven branches are here to serve our community with a great assortment of books for all ages and interests. Plus, we have an amazing variety of digital resources, ebooks, audiobooks, online tutoring, and more, all for free with your Chattahoochee Valley Library card. I'm Warren Steele with First Readers of Muskogee County. Thank you for joining us today for our Read for the Record collaboration of these organizations who focus on early literacy engagement. We hope you'll learn more about these organizations and support our efforts to share the gift of literacy. Happy reading.